Hey guys, it's Fantasia and I am so excited right now, you guys. So if you see the title of the video, we literally have a color wheel kind of in The Sims 4 now. So it's more of like a color slider. Um, and this is due to Waters. This is freaking incredible. Like I am over the moon to say I'm excited is literally an understatement. Like I am so pumped, you guys. So the pancake one on Patreon did release this for early access. So it is in early access right now, but you guys, this gives you the ability to literally, we're going to take a look at this. Okay. So we do have my modded Sims right now. They're looking a little bit different. Just ignore that. You guys will see probably in the next video of why. Um, don't worry. They're not changing the last play, at least not yet. I just said let's play really weird. But anyways, we got the new skin tones, the sliders and everything like that. So that gave us the ability to, you know, have a skin tone and, you know, use a slider to change it. This has given modders the ability to literally make this for clothes and hair. And I am so excited excited so for example honestly let's just well let's actually click on a hair that comes with the game so if we click on a hair that just comes with the game basically literally watch you guys look at this okay so this is my first time looking at this but like i i knew how it worked of course but like i haven't actually like seen all of the hairs and all the different colors you can make so like prepare for me to be super freaking excited and guys you can make a true black look at this this makes me so excited i'm not being dramatic like i am purely this excited like what okay like the black hair has always had like a blue hue to it and i literally hate that and i just feel like it's not a true black i don't know it's not right like oh god Okay, I don't know what color we're making now, but look at all the colors you can make. Like, what? <laughs> I literally can't. Okay, and then I believe... So first I was under the impression that it didn't work for, like, custom content, but apparently it does. And I'm just like, oh... Oh, and if you guys are noticing here, like, there is the colors all here, but, like, this confuses me. So, yeah, I don't know. I, we're just gonna select, like, a, okay, this purple. Wait, does this not do it? Does this one not work? I don't know if they all work. Oh, oh, whoa. The hair is, hold on. <laughs> the hair is like getting, like it's like disappearing. Hold on. <laughs> Are we gonna, we gotta make sure we don't have any nudity when we do the clothes. Oh my gosh. Cause you can make it like, the hair is like transparent. That is so cool. Okay, hold on. The, the, the what? Okay, wait, but it's kind of cool for the hair. Because you can make it like seem like the hair's thinner in a way, like depending where you put it. <gasps> that is so cool. So this is a textured hair and let's see. So this is already like a more true black um, as it is. So like, I don't really know if this, if we can do like very much with this. Does every slider work with these or just some? I don't know. I need to like play around. See now like, oh, another thing. Okay, so let's just click on this hair, for example. All right, so you know how we have like, you know, the black that everyone hates that of course now we can fix. Oh, what just happened? I have no idea what just happened. Okay, that was really weird. Why is it doing that? Okay, let me just stop. I don't know why it keeps like jumping back. That's super strange. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but <laughs> you know how like we have the black shade, only one, and then basically we have two brown shades. And I feel like they're not like it's not doing it like i just feel like for example if i wanted to make my hair color yeah maybe it's more like this one but it's not this shade and it's not this shade so i feel like i need like an in between i feel like this is a little bit too dark whereas this is a little bit too light and i just need like the perfect in between and my hair has like like golden undertones like in certain lighting it can look like my hair is like it can look like I'm a redhead but I'm not it just depends on the lighting um because like I have basically like a golden brown shade if you guys see my hair in the sunlight like it is the definition of like golden brown um so I just feel like this this is just too light this is too dark it just you know like I can't get my hair color and then same for the blonde I feel like there's just not enough blonde shades. And then we got this yellow one, which can we fix the, why does it keep jumping? Okay, I'm super confused about that. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Um, That kind of sucks. Is it gonna keep doing it? Okay, so, oh, that looks kind of greeny. But you could probably mess with this and get like the right blonde. Like if you're like, ooh, like that, I mean, it's really bright, but <laughs> oh. Okay, you see what I mean? You could play around with this. Oh, we're changing it. Oh, <gasps> look at that. 
Okay, I'm so excited about this. Guys, what the heck? By the way, we are gonna do our uh, shout out, by the way, the notification shout out. I just like, I was way too excited. So we're gonna do it like a little bit later on in the video, but if you guys are waiting for that, that's coming. So yeah, keep watching. <laughs> um, but look, like, <gasps> ooh, this is such a good color. Oh my gosh, hold up. Oh, okay, so it literally stays where I put it at. And so we're on this blonde shade now, guys, this is everything. This is game changing. Absolutely, absolutely game changing. Like what? <laughs> I'm way too excited about this. I will stay in Curtis in for five hours. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm not being dramatic. I am literally, I can't stop laughing and smiling. I'm just like a ball of happiness right now. What? Look at this cool gray shade. Excuse me. What? Usually the gray shade looks like, oh, not even like that. Okay. How do we like get off of it? Like if we want it to like, okay, you just got to like click off and then go back. Oh, I wonder what this will look like. Does this do anything? Oh, maybe this doesn't work. Oh, okay. So the opacity works so like some of these like custom content hairs it's not gonna work like as much as you maybe hope it would um whoa okay i don't know why that keeps happening seriously <laughs> i have no idea um but like i feel like for these custom hairs like it doesn't even matter anyways because like th basically like when it comes to alpha hair they give you so many shades anyway so this is like whatever you know um i feel like it's fine like you don't need all these shades like it's just you know um, so like, I feel like it's okay that not all of these work. Um, but when it comes to the hairs that come in the game, I wonder if this does anything. I'm like checking everything. Okay. See, when you raise down the opacity for these ones, it turns to like a brown, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you want that, hey. Um, but I don't think anything else changes when it comes to custom content hair, at least from what I'm seeing anyways. Okay. So yeah, as you can see, like if you slide this, everywhere with hair that comes in the game it's going to change for everything okay so yeah like after just going back and forth making sure and everything like that it does look like um when it comes to the custom hair even if it's maxis match only the opacity is going to work but still that is going to mean that you're going to be able to get multiple different brown shades and like that's just great like that's amazing so I'm really excited when it comes to the hair. I think that's so freaking cool. Okay, so now for the clothing. Um, also, we do have other Sims here, but I feel like we don't need to look at the hair again. So should we look at the clothing on some of them? Yeah, maybe her because I know the modded girls look so different right now. Just, just ignore it. <laughs> I was just messing around. Um, okay, so here's like a custom shirt. Ooh, okay. So this, of course, like I said, custom content. So I don't know if it's going to change like I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the opacity again that's going to change. But either way, just the fact that the opacity works for custom content, that's important. So yeah, I like that. That kind of reminds me of like when we got the skin tone update with the makeup, I think like custom makeup, I'm pretty sure it was just the opacity that worked for everything, um, like custom content and everything. And then the stuff that came in the game, you could change the other things. So yeah, that's pretty cool because you could still like change the color of things. But then if it comes to a shirt that comes in game, look at that look at that so now you're gonna be able to make outfits completely match you know when it's just like annoying like you don't have the right pink or something and it's like ugh. Ah. <laughs> like now it's gonna be perfect look at this oh my god you guys wait is this oh god okay we're fine it's fine but as you <laughs> low <laughs> it kind of gives a look <laughs> As you lower the opacity, uh, you can kind of see boobies, but it's no, like, there's, it's not nudity at all. It kind of just looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like a, just a different shirt because that's how the shirt is usually. And then if you lower a little bit, it kind of either just looks, I don't know, it just looks like the shirt's a little bit thinner, more sheer. I kind of like it. It's not like too much. Uh, what about this one? Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, let's look at this. This is custom content. So again, it's just going to be the opacity. But look at that. That's pretty cool. Like, this could definitely come in handy. And like, you could have like, yeah, like, look, that's like super intense. You could lower it. I think that is so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so again, let's click on some uh, something that comes in the game. That does not come in the game. So much freaking custom content. I cannot. Let's go up to the top. Um, I feel like this doesn't have enough shades to go. Whoa, that was kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> 
I'm be like making the weirdest faces. Like I'm so fascinated, you guys. Okay, wait. How come this doesn't do anything for the other ones? Oh, interesting. Cause that's not custom content. Huh. That's weird. I don't know. Oh, and then that can turn like brown. Okay, I don't know why like some things like don't change with everything. I don't really know what's going on here, but like it works and I'm freaking excited about it. I think it's amazing. I am like so excited about this. I think this is so cool. Let's look at like a pair of pants. The one thing I didn't get, I didn't get the slider for the facial hair and for the shoes. So like it is available if you want that. Okay, let's take a look at a custom skirt. Okay, this is a little weird if you're going to lower the opacity. Y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, all you just see is hair. Um, and then yeah, these don't work. So that's going to be a little strange. I wouldn't recommend lowering the opacity on pants. Uh, unless, unless you like that look, go for it. <laughs> and then as for these, okay, so yeah, this is changing. Um, and again, wouldn't recommend that. But how cool. Like you can make it super freaking bright. <gasps> Ooh, I like that. Oh. I like that a lot. Okay, so yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I need to play around with this. This is gonna be so much fun. Create a sim, it just got even more fun. Like, guys, I'm so excited. I, I think this is so cool. I don't know if the Sims team will ever like actually give us this because now I feel like we, now that they have given us these sliders for skin tones and makeup, I feel like we don't need a color wheel. They can just expand the slider you know, um, I think that would be perfect and totally fine. Like, so I feel like, um, if they did it for the makeup and the skin tones, like they didn't just do it for skin tones. We got it for the makeup as well, which was given basically like makeup that already exists, existed. They put a slider on it. So I feel like obviously it's possible. So why not do it for like all the clothing and hair clothing? I feel like would take a while. So I feel like the next step is hair. Um, but we do have this mod now. So I mean, like, I mean, like I'm not in a rush for it, but like, it would be cool if they give us the slider for hair, just because we need to be able to make more shades. We need to be able to make a true black. We need to be able to make different shades of brown and blonde, you know, and redheads. Okay. Hold on. I have to do one more thing. Okay. Let's just look at this and then let's select this. So I also have felt like there's just not enough redhead shades as well. Um, I don't know if that's just me. I feel like it's definitely not. <laughs> um, oh wait, we don't want to do that. Okay. So if we change it like that, so if you lower the opacity, look at that. Oh, <gasps> you can make a strawberry blonde. Oh, oh my God. That's so perfect. And then, okay. This is so much more, like guys, this is great. And then you can make it deeper which I feel like is also, oh, and then look at that brown shade. Oh, it's like a golden brown. Okay. That makes me excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So now we're literally not even in redhead anymore. Well, it's, it has like a tint. I feel like we'd have to make it a little bit. See, look at that. To me, like, that's just so much better. And like, if you select this red one, now I feel like you can make this look more natural if you wanted to. And because there's so many different like redhead shades, you know, like, I just feel like you need that variety. You know, sometimes redheads have just a really deep red, um, you know, like, I don't know, this is so exciting. Okay, you guys, that's all I'm gonna mess with that. But like, guys, the possibilities are endless. So with that said, I'm gonna wrap this video here, but we need to do our notification and shout out. So this one goes to Jolene's view and you got your shout out. <laughs> Thank you so freaking much. You're so sweet. Literally your comment was so, so sweet. I appreciate you to death. And we got the hearts today and you love the hearts. So that's great. Still, some of you guys are asking me what the heck is, well, not a lot of you guys, but a few of you guys are always wondering Wondering if this is hearts or stars or if it's uh stickers or a tattoo or <laughs> everything like that if you watch all my videos you know they're not tattoos but if you're just like stumbling across one yes they are just hearts drawn with eyeliner if you guys are familiar with that makeup look that is pretty popular then yeah you may be familiar but that's what it is i know the face cam is smaller so anyway i just thought i would let you guys know but thank you so much jolene for your comment and if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out all you gotta do is comment down below with that said i'm gonna wrap this up here i'm really freaking excited i'm gonna stay in create a sim all freaking day <laughs> so i will have the link down below of where you can download this of course but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here if you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys also so much and i'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.
Need that much.